Right, now we're going for the discriminant. Before we go to actually get into the discriminant, I want to go back to the quadratic formula. x equals to negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, what I want to stress is the thing, the expression under the square root. Because if we have a negative under the square root, it will never happen. So, we do not like the b squared minus 4ac smaller than 0 because there will be no answer or no real root. That's what we call. To help us a little bit, we call this b squared minus 4ac the discriminant. Which also be used by the triangle. We call it delta. All right. So, delta smaller than zero will have no root, no real root. Yeah, I mean, no real root means that you still could calculate it if they're not un with the unreal root, but that will be HL level. We'll leave it as it is. And if it is equals to zero, which means that this bit will not be happening because square root of zero becomes zero. So you have only one answer. And when I have, when it's bigger than two, so you have a plus or minus, so you got the case. So you have two real roots. Please also remember, quadratic equation, you only have two answer for maximum. You do not have three for quadratic, which means that that might be something wrong. Before we get to the example, I would like to stress onto this some wording as well. Two distinct root. Means that it have to be two real roots. Just two real roots means that it could be one it could be two real root or two repeated root. And in that case, two repeated root is one real root, which is the discriminant have to be bigger or equals to zero. The zero is included. For that one, bigger than zero. Now, one root, repeated root, so that will have to be one root only. So try discriminant equals to zero. Delta equals to zero. Last but not least, there's no more drama there, no real root. Right. So let's get started with those. Given that an equation x squared plus 7x minus 3 equals to 0. I want to find out how many roots will that be. So I just find a discriminant there. Equals to b squared minus 4ac. And we have 49 plus 12 equals to 61. Since it is bigger than 0, therefore, 2 real root. Nice and easy. But definitely you won't see that simple things in your exam. So you got something more annoying. That will be something like this. Given 2x squared plus kx minus k equals to 0. Find the value of k when the equation has two real roots. So now you're going to put that into account. 
So I have b squared discriminant have to be bigger than zero, two real root only, no much, not too much choice on those. Oh, bigger or equals to zero because it's two real. It could be repeated as well. It didn't say distinctive root. And then what we have to what we have to do is like triangle equals to b squared minus four a c. And in that case. Rearrange that a little bit. Since this is a quadratic, that is a quadratic inequalities, I have to move it into an equation to solve it first. Some teacher will use it as a sign diagram. I just sketched the curve. Now I got the equation zero, uh, negative eight, and zero. And this is a positive curve, so the curve go like this. The sign diagram comes in like this, plus, minus, plus. It just depends on the style. I think uh, either way will be, will be accepted. Now I want it bigger than or equals to zero, so I want this bit and this bit. Therefore, ah, uh, blue please. So therefore, k have to be smaller than negative eight, or k have to be bigger than zero. And this is the case we got, and this is the most annoying bit. Sign diagram, sketch to curve, anything should be working. All right? So that's it for the discriminant and how to apply it.